Hey guys, it is Christian here. Today we are going to, or I am going to rank all the MCU movies that I have seen so far. So I, so there's 22 movies to rank today, and I'm gonna rank all 22 of them from worst to best. I'm gonna use my tier list to help me, so that way I keep track. So let's do this. Coming in in last place, number 22, is Thor The Dark World. I didn't like this movie when I saw it, and it was just, the villain, it was just so boring. The villain was so generic, and they just couldn't get through it. So this movie's easily last place. Trash. Um, and number 21 is Iron Man 2. I was never a fan of this movie, to be honest. And some of the scenes are cool, but I just couldn't really get into it much. This is number 21. At number 20 is The Incredible Hulk. All you guys might have it at last, because it's not really an MCU movie. It is an MCU movie, though, because it's a post credit scene. But I think this movie gets a little bit too much hate, to be honest, but I still don't think it's a great movie. So that's why it's there. Coming in at 19 is. I'm gonna get so much hate for this pick, but Iron Man 3, the Mandarin twist was so stupid. I hated the villains. And overall, I just couldn't get into it really. I thought it was okay, the final battle was good, but, but overall, the Mandarin twist is what really ruins it for me. Coming in at number 18 is. Captain Marvel. Overall, I thought this movie was okay. I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think it was awful. So yeah, it's kind of in the middle in between. I thought Nick Fury was great, but that's just where it is. That's just where it is. Don't, don't make fun of me for it. Coming at number 17 is Thor, the first movie, Thor. I thought it was... Unpopular opinion. Boom, boom, boom. I thought it was better than Captain Marvel. I thought it was, I, I, I was a lot more entertained by it. Uh, the casting of their main character is better. That's more villain is great, but unfortunately Loki is not as good in this movie as he is in Ragnarok or even the Avengers movies, so that's why it's... And also the camera angles. This is something that people don't really pay attention to. But instead of, like, straight, they're always, like, curved like this. And that's, that's kind of nitpick, though. But yeah, number 16 is The Avengers Age of Ultron. I thought this movie had a lot of plot holes and stuff like that, but the final battle was cool. Well, so overall, it was a decent movie. And number 15, all of you guys are going to disagree with me on this. This is all of you guys will probably have this in like top three or whatever. Or, but that's just your opinion and this is my opinion. And so don't make fun of me about it in the comments and I won't make fun of your opinions. Number 15 is Black Panther. I liked this movie not as much as other people. I thought it was a little boring at times. Killmonger's a great villain though. It's one of the cases where I actually like the villain more than the hero. But overall that's just my opinion on Black Panther. Then, we yeah, have Captain America, the first Avenger. I thought this movie was good. I mean, I was very entertained by it. So, yeah, that's that. And also, Chris Evans was perfectly cast. The Red Skull's a decent villain. Not really, kind of. Maybe, not really. Yeah. Number 13 is Ant-Man and the Wasp. I feel like this one has a better story. Instead of, like, being the first Iron Man all over, like, retold, this is kind of its own story. But I didn't think it was as funny as the first movie. I didn't think the action was as good as the first movie. And I didn't think the villains were as good as Yellow Jacket, even though Yellow Jacket was also not a great villain. But speaking of the first Ant-Man movie, number 12 is Ant-Man, the first one. I will, this movie's so entertaining, it has a great final battle, 
But at the same time, it's kind of just the first Iron Man retold. Like, now with Star Wars, like, Force Awakens is like New Hope retold. This is like Iron Man 1 retold. So it's not really its original story, but it, it's decent. At number 11, we have Doctor Strange. Now, I think this movie has the best visual effects out of any MCU film. The story is also kind of just the first Iron Man film. Which is why it's here, and it's kind of also basically the first Iron Man movie, but has better effects. I mean, the effects are kind of okay. That's it. We're in top 10 territory now, guys. At number 10 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I know Sean Chandler does not like this movie, and I respect his opinion, but I just had a lot of fun with this one movie. Yeah, it was just so entertaining. Characters like Drax and Rocket kind of got on my nerves. Some of the jokes are repetitive. That would stop me from loving the movie. Mm. Then we at number nine we have Spider-Man: Homecoming. I thought this movie was good. It, Sean Chandler described it as kind of having a John Hughes vibe, which I can kind of see, but I don't think I wouldn't personally describe it as his style, I would personally, like, like coming of age, it's definitely a coming of age movie, and those aren't always the movies I particularly love that as much as, like, but this one is great, I mean, Tom Holland is great, Robert Downey Jr. is great, Michael Keaton, my favorite part of the movie is Michael Keaton's Vulture. At number eight, we have Captain America the Winter Soldier. This movie, it was just, it had the best MCU twist, in my opinion, that shield is Hydra, and stuff, oh, spoilers, sorry, sorry about spoilers. So, watch the movie first, and then come back to this one, okay? I already said spoilers, I messed up, okay. At number seven is Thor Ragnarok, easily the best Thor movie, in my opinion. It was just so fun and funny. It was heartfelt, it had a lot of great action, great villain, great heroes. Overall, it was a great movie. At number six is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. A lot of people would have this at, like, top two. I liked it, not as much as other people, but it was a very good movie. Ronan was a little of a misstep of a villain, I didn't really like him that much. It was just not interesting. The, the heroes were great, though. The, all the Guardians. Top five territory now, guys. Top five. At us in the top five is Captain America: Civil War. I love this movie so much because I love the airport battle. I love the final battle. I love Captain America. I love Iron Man. I love all the heroes. It was our first time. It was our first time seeing Black Panther and Spider Man in the MCU, which is cool. So overall, I just love this movie. Number four, we have the very first Iron Man. I still consider this to be one of the best MCU movies. It's the first one I watched. The first MCU movie, not the first one I watched in my marathon. This was the third one I watched in my marathon. But it was just so good. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is still the best MCU casting, though. The villain is not as good, but hey, it's a decent movie. Great movie. Not decent. It's great. Top three territory. Let's do this. Bringing us into the top three is The Avengers. The first Avengers movie. This movie still holds up. I mean, I'm not sure if it's aged that well, but I think it is. it still holds up. I, th I think Loki is better in this movie than he is in the first Thor movie. He, but... And all the heroes are great, the chemistry is great, stuff like that. Our runner-up, number two, is going to be Avengers Infinity War. I always loved this movie. Thanos is my favorite Marvel MCU villain. And this was the first moment where we get to see every hero we've been introduced to together. Minus Hawkeye and minus Ant-Man, but hey, whatever. But, but, but first place, I don't think it's that much of a surprise. Is Avengers Endgame. 
this was the, the last MCU film I watched, and it was amazing. I mean, Iron Man, this is the best Iron Man has ever been in a movie. Thanos is a great villain. A lot of people might have been disappointed that we didn't get enough Thanos in this movie, but I but that's not a bad thing to me. It's actually a good thing to me because I feel like Infinity War that was Thanos' story. Thanos' story about getting the Infinity Stones, and Endgame is about our heroes trying to stop him and to bring all their friends back. So overall, oh, Avengers Endgame is my number one favorite MCU movie. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.